Hey guys, I wanted to kind of touch back on something in ADCing because I made a video a while ago based on like what my thoughts on how to be a good ADC were and I didn't get a whole lot of good review on it because a lot of people were telling me one thing over another, telling me some of the things that I thought were a bad idea. And I mean the truth behind the matter is is like at the end of the day there's there's some situations where what I was doing worked really well. It was working out perfectly for me winning games, or at least winning my lane with my support. At the end of the bit, though, it's like everybody's talking trash on an item I was building called the Avarice Blade. Now, granted, it's not the best item to build. It really doesn't build into much, but it does build into a static shiv, which you'll notice people will tend to build in games because it gives that gold passive and people say you usually only build it when you're behind in my opinion you really don't build it when you're behind you build it when like you're at an even advantage or you've gotten that extra extra little bit of gold to get ahead and the average blade will help you keep ahead it'll keep you above what the other ADC is as long as you're still maintaining the CS and the and the kills on the other team if you're like getting destroyed though and the average you build the average blade to kind of try and catch back up it does help out but I mean it still comes down to whether or not you're gonna be able to CS because that two extra gold per killing a minion really is what makes the difference but I build the average blade randomly now I don't build it too much because I've gotten better at doing my CS I've gotten better at picking up kills I've gotten better at knowing when to back out of a fight when to initiate that being said it's like in my previous video I would build certain ways and yes a lot of the comments that were posted on that video were right I was building Vayne wrong I built her in a way that I thought was the better way to build her and go and I didn't realize that m I got advice from a couple of my friends that I was playing with and they're like well man I keep checking you out while you're playing Vayne and I keep seeing what you're building as you're building it and honestly you you would win a lot more with Vayne if you would change out this item for this so switch out one item for another or pick up an item that I never thought to build on Vayne because I'm like well why would I build Zephyr on you know an ADC it didn't make much sense until you really started to think about Vayne's W which at the end of the day Vayne's W is the tank melter Vayne's W is the way you win 1v1 fights against another ADC. So, yes, I was wrong. I'll admit it. Not that big of a deal. There was a reason I was still in bronze. I wasn't that good. And now I've made my way up to silver. I'm going to make my way up to gold and platinum in season 4. Maybe even diamond. I don't know. We'll see what happens in that point. But at the same time, it's like in any game you play, in anything that you do, no matter how good you are, there are certain events that you can't control. So, at the end of it, when it comes to being really good at what you're doing, it all comes down to being able to play your best and learning from your mistakes. Again, something I can't stress enough in League of Legends is like my biggest problem is when I start getting frustrated because the enemy's junglers ganked me four times even with wards down they'll come and tower dive because they just keep getting more and more of an advantage and the enemy junglers now tank you to the point where he can tower dive and take six tower shots while the ADC kills me but I'll wind up getting mad at the jungler I'll say something to the jungler that will cause the jungler not to come to my lane and help out causes the game to potentially go farther and farther into the hole that being said the reason I started climbing up the ladder, the reason I started getting better at the game is I started evaluating myself, something that a friend of mine told me to do months and months and months and months ago. And if I had listened to him months and months and months ago, I might have been better off. That being said, Season 3 just ended. I'm going to start working on my gameplay. I'm going to spend a lot of time working on it. And of course, my camera is just terrible at this particular moment. I'll adjust it there. The main point of it, and what it really comes down to, is some people have opinions that are right. Some people have opinions that are hearsay. Some people have opinions that are wrong. At the end of the day, it's a learning curve. You keep on learning. You keep getting better. You get to the point where you're actually decent. That's all that it is. That's all it can be. At the end of the day, look at yourself, look at the mistakes you made in that game, and try not to make them again. Spazzy touches on this. 
I think Red Mercy touched something on this. Like a lot of people will tell you, at the end of the game, if you look back over the replay of it and you spend the time watching it, you'll be like, oh, well, look, here's a point where I stayed overextended even after we killed their ADC. Then I didn't look at the mini map and say, oh, look, here comes Mid and the Jungler. Not paying attention. Always evaluate yourself, watch your replays, practice, practice, practice. It'll get you farther, it'll get better, and stop blaming everyone else for what happens in a game. The second you start raging at one person, your team's morale goes down. No reason for the team to try and help you because you're just going to rage every time that they do something. Think about it. Think about how it works out. Try and get better at the game. I'm going to try and start making my videos shorter because I realize a lot of my videos are 12 minutes or 15 minutes long. A lot of people don't want to sit on YouTube for 12 minutes watching somebody rant and rave. End of the day, guys, practice, get better, and you know what? If you find something that works for you, use it. But remember, counter-building helps out. Have a good day, guys. Enjoy. If you like, follow my channel, subscribe, subscribe blah, 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 yak the yak, Facebook, Twitter, and all that other fun jazz in the links below. This is Blood Orcs. I'm signing out.